What's going on out there, new tubers and geek viewers of the world? Mr. Dark Phoenix is back, and of course, all the Constantine fans out there, I bring you guys another top 8 video of the top 8 characters that need to be shown or that can save Constantine. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because I post videos every week, and I would love to have you guys a part of the nerdy, geeky family that we have here on YouTube. But here, without a doubt, are my top 8 characters that need to be shown on Constantine and that can hashtag save Constantine. First and foremost is the demonic godfather of evil, Trigon. Trigon could definitely be a season 2 or even season 3 villain contender. He's uberly powerful, and with the introduction of Trigon, we automatically get the package deal. His daughter, Rachel Roth, aka Raven. To introduce Raven, she should first be introduced as Rachel Roth, a clueless girl who discovers her powers late into the season and who discovers her true identity before it's too late. Being a vessel for her father, Trigon, to enter the world of the living and be a physical incarnation of him, Rachel Roth can be the main character of the first half or hell the whole season of Constantine if they play their cards right. Trigon is definitely a villain that they can use for the whole season as the big bad behind the second rising of darkness and can definitely pose a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic scene and scenes of evil that Constantine brings. And by the end of the season we are treated to Raven coming into the scene and treated to the famous magic words Azeroth, Metrion, Zinthos, including her backstory on Azeroth and all the great things that come with introducing them together. And with that, I definitely do say that Trigon and Raven need to be shown on Constantine. Next up is the most pop one of the most popular requested characters, and that is Swamp Thing. Being able to control all plant life and being able to just be downright awesome, Swamp Thing definitely needs to be appearing on Constantine. They definitely said that they, that he would make an appearance, but I feel like they need to save the big name characters for later seasons, which is again another reason why we all need to hit band together and help save Constantine and hope that you know we can definitely see our Swamp Thing anytime soon because his effects are definitely going to cost some money, and he is definitely going to be a character that we do not want to half-ass. Next up on my list is going to be Clarion the Witch Boy, who can definitely be a vessel or a puppet of sorts for an even bigger villain, like maybe even Trigon. Clarion and, Raven could, Clarion and Rachel could be friends, if you really want to think about it like that. Next up on my list is another highly requested character, and that is Zatanna. Zatanna would be a great addition to Constantine. She can be an ally of his for a couple of episodes and then maybe go off and do her own magical thing, but just Zatanna needs this to be introduced. She's definitely one of those season two people that can definitely bring the show up even farther once the show gets to past season two. And let's be honest here, we all want to see Constantine and Zatanna work together. Hell, even Raven, Constantine, and Zatanna working together to stop the big bad of seasons two or three. Next up on my list is Dr. Fate and Mordru. As a pair, because Mordru is his greatest foe, Dr. Fate's helmet was already mentioned in season one and seen in the episode pilot of season one, episode one. So we already know Dr. Fate is somewhere in there. We just need later episodes to properly introduce him. And Mordru can definitely contend with the best of them in being a mainstream villain or just being in the background and being the villain of the next season. Say Trigon's the villain for season two, Mordru can be behind the scenes and be teased as the villain for season three. And finally is Eclipso, just somebody that I liked personally, magical being, all that good stuff, demonic of sorts, can be a henchman to Trigon or just be introduced as somebody that can just give Constantine a magical run for his money. And hopefully if he has allies by then, we can definitely show him and the viewers why these following eight characters would blow their minds and why we all need to go on Twitter, use the hashtag SaveConstantine, and we have a bigger chance of seeing our favorite characters on our favorite show. 
Thank you guys for tuning into this episode. Always remember that my social media links will be in the description bar below, followed by other great videos. And remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next week for another great episode.